Part 1 – Information Exchange On projects, we all need information to enable us to do something else, a purpose, whether that's to form a task, answer a question or make a decision. The information flows from provider to receiver. And I'm not just talking about the receiver being a client, it can be anyone who asks for information. But how does the receiver make sure that the information which is delivered enables them to carry out their purposes in the best possible way? Before you ask someone to provide you with information, you have to flip the thinking round so that you think about the purpose first and the information needed to carry this out. Then when you ask someone to provide this information, you're in a position to say exactly what it is that you need. So you're actually specifying the information you require. This is what information requirements are. Bring these together and it completes an information exchange. So each information exchange goes through this process of specify, deliver and check. And this is what the information management process governs across all information exchanges during the life of a facility. As an information manager, my job is to come up with the workflows to make this happen. We've just looked at one exchange. However, projects are made up of huge numbers of information exchanges, which generally move about in a ecosystem of chaos.